our main role as uh, engineers is it's our responsibility to make sure the car is performing 100% on track. Car, driver, team, uh, we're absolutely delivering to the highest level. Military precision. So on race day, you're trying to make sure that the car is uh, set up as uh, perfectly as it can be for the given conditions, making sure that the driver's aware of everything we're going to do in the session, what the plan is, the mechanics are on top of any changes that you've got planned for the session, um, and making sure that everything runs as smooth as it can be. So planning your session, um, whether it be a practice or a qualifying, if it's a race, then you're thinking about strategy, making sure everyone's aware of uh, what we've got to achieve on the day. We've got so many different in information streams. We've got live telemetry about the cars, we've got data engineers' inputs on the data that they see, we've got the driver's feedback, we've got timing screens, we've got weather radars, there's, there's so many different input streams that we have to try and analyse, piece together and, um, and tune the car or change the strategy to suit. Pressure? No, I don't know what you're talking about. No, there's no pressure working for RD. Yeah, but uh, yeah, look, it's, it is all, um, there is some pressure there and uh, it's, it is part of the job um, and you just have to learn to deal with it. We all want to do well, we all want to succeed uh, and win as many races for Red Bull Racing as we possibly can. With that comes um, a little bit of heat, but yeah, you have, to, uh, you have to learn to deal with that. Yeah, I guess the first thing I think of when things go, goes wrong is uh, what are we going to have to do to get it back on track? We can't waste time, we have to, we have to be performing 100% every, every minute. So. You know, Pukekohe, there was, there was no thought to of uh, packing up. We had to get the job done. We had to get back out on track the next day. There was still a chance in the championship and we are never going to give up. I think you want to beat every single car out there, of course. Um, but first and foremost, um, the most important thing is that our three cars are coming one, two, three in all those races. Because if we don't work together initially, then someone else from another team is going to pop up and start beating us. So the first thing is to make sure that we're the three most competitive cars on the circuit. And then after that, it's, um, it's our job to make sure that we give our individual drivers the best possible car that we can give them. And then it's up to those guys to sort it out on the racetrack. And um, at the end of the day, you know, you've got to accept that you're going to win some, you're going to lose some. Um, but again, as long as it's us, as long as it's a triple eight car winning, then happy days. First victory in Tasmania for Shane Van Gisbergen. 500 wins for Holden. Do you get a little bit jealous when the other one wins? <laughs> yeah, oh, you know, um, after being the wrong side of the garage at Bathurst two years in a row, I thought we were going to make it three years in a row last year, but, you know, we were looking like a really good one-two there, and, and at the end of the day, that's the most important thing, is get, get the two cars to the front, and then we'll sort it out between us. There's no point racing for 18th and 19th. doesn't matter who's in front then.